Although we feel complete stability and stillness in all parts of the Earth, but the Earth is not stable, planet Earth rotates on its axis at a speed of up to 465 km per second, only and revolves around the Sun at a speed of about 30 km per second, and the entire solar system moves within the galaxy, and the galaxy, in turn, is far from the surrounding galaxies at a speed of up to 600 km per second. All these movements occur, and we do not feel anything. Welcome to the Curious Questions channel, in this episode, you will find an answer to the question, what if the Earth stopped rotation? In the beginning, why does the Earth rotate and not be stationary in the first place? About 4 billion and 600 million years ago, there was a giant cloud of gases in the form of a nebula, and its particles began to condense with each other due to the force of gravity, and small rocky clumps began to form, and with the collision of these conglomerates with each other, large rocky clumps began to form were merged with each other to form the last planets, including the planet. As a result of this strong collision, the Earth became charged with an enormous and powerful kinetic energy that led to the rotation of its axis and continues to rotate to this day. What happens if the Earth stops spinning is that the atmosphere will continue to spin at the same speed that the planet spins, and this will lead to all the unstable bodies on the Earth's surface being volatilized and all of them will be pushed at a tremendous speed into outer space. Also, the succession of night and day will require the passage of a whole year, one day will be equivalent to a year in its duration, and therefore hemisphere will live in permanent noon, continuous summer and intense heat for six months and the second half in permanent night and continuous winter and severe cold for six months as well. One of the most dangerous disasters that will happen is that the winds will shoot out strongly all over the Earth and will gradually turn into a huge hurricane that will extend from the Earth to the sky and will destroy any object that passes on it, because scientists have estimated the wind strength in this case will equal the strength of the winds produced when a nuclear bomb explodes. Of course, as a result of the sudden change that will occur with the force of the wind and the strong friction of the fixed objects, catastrophic fires will be produced on the surface of the earth, which means that whoever manages to escape from the wind will be destroyed by the fires. It is worth noting that the earth's magnetic field is the field that protects it from the danger of outer space radiation, the magnetic field is basically the result of the presence of deposits of magnetized iron or in addition to a layer that conducts electric current. And when the Earth rotates on its axis, vortices are formed that produce a special magnetic field for the Earth, as this field will disappear if the Earth stops rotating, therefore, its inhabitants will be exposed to these deadly radiations. The rotation of the Earth around its axis has a major role in the stability of the oceans and water bodies in their place on the surface of the Earth, and if this rotation stops, the oceans will overflow and cover most parts of the land and produce high tsunami waves that destroy all parts of the Earth. And in the latter, which can also happen, the geographical shape of the Earth will change, the locations of the continents and their distribution and the gathering of water bodies near the equator is mainly caused by the centrifugal force resulting from the Earth's rotation around itself. If this rotation stops, this force will also stop, and it will produce a huge chaos in the redistribution of parts of the land and water on the surface of the Earth, and thus the shape of the Earth will change completely, and at that time all the water bodies will turn into two oceans only, the first in the north and the second in the south, separated by a huge piece from the mainland in the middle, representing the sum of the seven continents combined into one mass. And that was the answer to our question today.